what is an anti dissator space? This is something I always struggle to visualize. So if you can explain to me, like I'm a 12 year old, which is my mental age anyway. Yeah. What is an anti dissator space? Well, um, there are there are three sort of simplest space times that solve the Einstein equation. The very simplest one yeah. is just empty flat space. That's the solution to the Einstein equation. But now you could add to the Einstein equation another term, which Einstein himself considered... His blunder. Yeah, in, in the 30s. Yeah. And we, we actually... Astronomers now believe that there is an extra term which is weirdly very, very small. It's often called dark energy. But it's an extra term in the Einstein equation. And if you add that extra term, flat space is no longer a solution. But there is a very simple solution that replaces flat space. And it's a space where a moment of time is a big sphere. That's for a positive amount of... That's if the, if the dark energy is positive. Okay? And... Uh, a round sphere, something that's called de Sitter space. Okay. That was discovered a long time ago. And also anti de Sitter space, also discovered a long time ago, is what you get if the cosmological constant has the other sign. And instead of being positively curved like, uh, like de Sitter space, or like a sphere, it's negatively curved like a, the surface of a saddle. Okay, like a bowl. Um, no, a bowl would be positive curved. It has to be, um, you know, like... like. Yeah. Uh, I hear you. A saddle is the right description, I guess. Okay, a saddle, a saddle yeah. is the right... You don't have any negative... <laughs> no saddle, saddle shape, Lego. Lego. I'll, yeah. I'll drop a complaint to the makers of Lego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. have some anti it's fine. Yeah, they, <laughs> they are harder to visualize. <laughs> and interestingly, the, the saddle thing, go, the sphere closes in on itself. Flat space goes off to infinity. And the negatively curved space also go out, out to infinity. And in that case, in some stringing examples, you can show with kind of mind-boggling mathematical detail that um, that the whole everything that happens in the whole anti sitter universe is encoded. Uh, we can think of the whole universe as a hologram, which is projected from the anti from the holographic plate, which lives on its boundary. So there's no question that I mean this this. Uh, you know, convincingly demonstrates that it's not a mathematical contradiction to say that a region of space-time can be described by something wholly described in complete detail by something which lives on its boundary. This is the ADS-CFT correspondence. Right? This is the ADS-CFT correspondence, yes. And now, this is not the, that is not the real world for several reasons. First of all, we don't live in anti desitter space. Right. And second of all, string theory might or might not be the real world. So, you know, uh, so we've got plenty of work to do. We'd like to understand the holographic principle without invoking string theory, mm -hmm. and um, and we'd like to adapt it to universes like our own.